I made a setup of FFMPEG scripts which allow me to convert any video and GIF to an animated texture in under 2 minutes. This is the best and fastest method of making animated textures that I am aware of, considering how it took me way longer to convert a video with less frames in Premiere Pro. The only tools you need are FFMPEG and VTF Edit. Optional, but not required, are image editing software such as GIMP or Photoshop. I will use both of these in this video for cropping, which you might not even need to do. In the description you will find a link to FFMPEG and a Gumroad page where you can download the scripts that I have made for free. I will be using a 10 second clip of Watermode's first episode. The first thing we need to do is single out this clip. We do that by dragging the video onto the trim bat file. It will ask you where the clip begins and ends. No need for accuracy, because we can delete the access frames later. We could crop the video if we wanted to, but I won't do that on this clip. I will show you how it is done later on a different video. For now, we will continue with scaling this video. At the moment, it is 1920 by 1080, which will not work for the source engine, as it requires everything to be a power of 2. Drag the trimmed video onto the scaling bat file. It comes with a list of possible resolutions to choose from, along with an option to decide your own resolution. But be aware, texture files in the source engine should remain at a maximum of 100 megabytes. The more frames you have, the smaller your texture will need to be. As an example, the screen on my new Coca-Cola vending machine has 1054 frames. Because of that, the biggest resolution I could have without breaking the texture was only 256 by 128 pixels. Anyhow, pick a number and let the script make a new rescaled version of your video. This rescaled video can now be dragged onto the frame extractor. It allows you to either stick with the original frame rate of the video or change it. All this really does is either extract every single frame or every second, third or whatever. My source originally has 24 FPS. Due to the image resolution I chose and the video length, I must use 10 frames per second. I could stick with the original 24 FPS if I made the resolution smaller, but then it would be pixelated. I would rather stick with a less smooth animation than something that looks bad. Once all the frames are extracted, you will get the folder where all your frames are held in. Open VTF Edit and import all frames at once. Converting all the frames to a texture might take a minute, depending on size. After it is done, you can press the play button in VTF Edit. The speed at which it plays is completely irrelevant. You can change the actual playback speed in the VMT file. All you need to worry about right now is that the animation plays at all and the texture must not be bigger than 100 megabytes. Save the texture and open the VMT file or make one if you don't have one already. Down here, in the proxies, is where the magic happens. These few lines make the texture animate while this number over here decides the frame rate. Since I changed the frame rate in the frame grabber to 10, I will need to tell the VMT to also play at 10. And don't forget to change the base texture. Now that we're done with both the material and texture, we can pack it up and test it in game. And now about the cropping. 
I got a video here that I want to turn into an animated texture. Unfortunately, someone added a nonsense comment and a thick border around the entire video which I want to get rid of. Cropping with FFMPEG is a bit tricky, so we need a visual guide. Drag the video onto the single frame for cropping bat file. It will ask you if you want to grab the first frame or a very specific frame. It will generate an image file which you can then import into an image editing software. I will first show you how it is done in GIMP and then in Photoshop. Simply make a selection of what you want to keep and the numbers will be displayed right there on the left hand side, unless your interface is changed. Drag the original video onto the cropper and write out the information you see in GIMP. First we have width, then we have height, followed by the distance of the top left pixel from the left edge of the image and then from the top edge of the image. For Photoshop, make a selection, press F8, zoom in on the top left pixel of that selection and place your cursor on it. The little window shows you the width and height of your selection as well as where your cursor currently is. Make sure your cursor is actually on this top left pixel, otherwise your information is not going to be accurate. Copy that data into the cropper. Now we got a video only containing the actual content without some hooligans nonsense comment. Now of course, this process works for animated bump maps and probably even animated details, such as glowing details to make your lights blink and whatever. If you need help with animated textures or any kind of modding at all at any time, join the Dead for Mods Discord server where we have channels to ask for and provide help. You could also join my own private Discord server if you want in which I mostly just show work in progress mods and shitpost.